What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel Mox and Muscle. It's Pete Mox and your host and um, today it's a bit different um, to normal. We're basically going to be talking about how to get into fitness. So um, the reason I'm doing this video, it's a bit different to what I normally do, um, is someone asked me the other day and basically turned around to me and said that they wanted PT and they wanted training, they wanted, you know, they wanted a plan, um, but they had no idea how to start, they had no idea how to get things moving, they had no idea how to effectively begin, you know, there was no guidance there. They'd looked on um, sites like bodybuilding.com, they'd looked on things like um, Athlean-X, stuff like that, and the programs they'd seen were too complicated. They were basically being shown an advanced program which someone had said, oh, well, this is, you know, this is, this is what you should be doing to begin with. Now, it depends on your age, it depends on your experience level, you know, if you've trained sport before, if you've played sport, if you've done exercise before, or if you've not, you know, there's many, many things that you can do um, to get to a point where you're prepared and you're ready to start training properly. Now, what I mean by that is it's not a case of, you know, you have to be at a certain fitness level to train and if you're not then you're never going to get to be able to train you're never going to be able to change your body because that's just a pile um you know there's no reason why anybody can't train and can't improve their body and can't make a positive change to both their body and their mind but there are barriers there's very few things and there's a couple of things so there's three things that impact your ability to make a positive change to your body the first is your beginner fitness level, so what you're at at the moment, okay? Now what I mean by that is how aerobically fit are you? How cardiovascular fit are you? How strong have you? Have you got any experience in actually fine motor movements before? Or have you just been sat on the computer for the, rest of the last 10 years? The thing you guys need to realize is that there's a massive case at the moment for people going around saying, you know, get your complete transformation in 12 weeks, get your complete body change in six weeks, okay? You know, I, I do programs, I do six week programs, 12 week programs, you know, I do summer shred programs, things like that. But what those are, are tailored programs for individual people, which work off of your previous fitness level. Now, there's no point in me giving a six foot five, 275 pound strongman the same program as there is a five foot seven housewife who's never lifted a weight in her life and that should be common sense but it's not people think there has to be a golden button there has to be a a single purpose and a single point to anything which just isn't the case now if you're a younger guy so if you're under the age of 16 and you're watching this video i'm going to do a video in the next couple of days which highlights the exact points you should be using and should be doing for teenage bodybuilding and how to get into lifting when you're a teenager um so when that video is up i'm going to pop it up there okay um but for, for the rest of you so those of you that are older than 16 those of you that are adults you know i'm, I'm not talking about people who are already training who are already massively into the fitness but i'm talking about how maybe you know if you're say you're into the fitness yourself and say you're um already committed to the active lifestyle and you've got somebody in your life that you want to get involved you know say you've got a girlfriend that you want to start training with you you've got a boyfriend you want to start training with you know you, you want to get your mum your dad involved you know you want to get your friends involved because you don't want to train alone that's completely fair enough so get your base fitness level up okay about what i mean by that Go for runs, press ups, sit ups, you know, pull ups if you can. Negative pull ups are great for this. You know, plank. All of these exercises are basic root exercises, guys. And you know, improve your core stability strength, improve your upper body strength slightly. You know, just do body weight squats. You know, I hate CrossFit. CrossFit as a as a concept, it's okay. You know, that there are reasons why it works, no reasons why it doesn't work. But one of the main things about CrossFit is it. It highlights and it promotes the idea that you use your body weight and you use lots of rapid mo fine movements to improve your fitness level. So, you know, do body weight crossfit exercises, you know, do things like, like your press-ups, like your sit-ups, like your planks, you know, do combinations, do circuits, things like that, just to get you involved. The second thing, okay, which is slightly different, um, is your nutrition. Now, 
if you're a newbie, if you're a beginner, if you're 17, 18 years old, you know, or if you're in your early 20s, you can kind of get, get away with not having your nutrition spotless straight away. There are ways around it, you know, you, you, you are able to get away with not having the best nutrition. As long as you're eating enough, then you're fine. When I was playing rugby, um, up until I was about 21, um, I was literally eating six or seven cheeseburgers a day. I was eating everything that got put in front of me and the simple reason was that every single thing I put into my body got transferred to muscle. You know, my body was a furnace, it wanted to eat, it wanted to get that, that nutrients in, it wanted to work. And as you get older, it doesn't work like that. You need to lower um, the amount of junk you eat, you need to sort of clean your diet up. I'm gonna do it again and I'm gonna do another separate video on this, but your basic principles of nutrition, if it's green, eat as much of it as you can. If it's lean, eat as much of it as you can, you know. This isn't about starving yourself. This isn't about eating nothing but celery, rocket and rice. This is about making a positive change to your nutrition, bit by bit as well. I don't expect you to go from eating crap and eating Chinese every single day to going vegan, paleo and living off nothing but the earth, okay? I don't expect you to change and you, sh you shouldn't expect that of yourself. So that's the thing is that it's about something that you can change yourself. You have to be able to commit to it. You have to be able to keep doing this for a prolong prolonged period of time. Now, the third thing that I would say that you're gonna have to get involved in is find a training partner. Find someone who you can do it with. Now, this can be somebody who is already training with you. This can be somebody who um, you know, somebody who maybe has got years of experience behind the belt, or maybe someone who's just starting for the first time. But what you'll find is that when you train with someone, you push each other. So say you're sat there and you think, oh, I don't really want to go to the gym today. I don't really want to train today. You know, I'm a bit tired. Oh, my legs are aching a little bit, you know. Oh, but there's a swing on TV tonight. They will get you out of that, okay? If you message them and say, look, I can't be asked to go to the gym today, they're gonna to turn around to you and say, no, no, you're coming with me, you know, we're doing this together. If you do it on your own, there's a far, far bigger chance that you're gonna make excuses that aren't valid that you can use to get out of the situation, okay? Now, that makes it sound like going to the gym is a bad thing, is a negative thing, it's not. It's one of the biggest positives you can do. It teaches discipline, it teaches motivation, it teaches the, the commitment that's needed um, to achieve your goals you know it translates across to every other part of your life but having somebody there especially at the beginning when you've not got that inner desire and drive you know nobody who goes to the gym goes with any bad intentions nobody goes to with the intention of failing you know you look at the first of January people are like, oh, this is the new year this is new me this is this is this and by the middle of February 90% of them have gone and the simple reason is that there's no reason for their being there. And by, if you have somebody there to be accountable to, it just cuts out on all of the excuses. You know, those excuses aren't gonna fly with the, with the person that you've committed to going with. So it's only a short video, guys. It was just a few little tips. Um, those three things that I think will help you out if you're just starting your fitness journey. Um, summer is not here yet, as you can see, by the surroundings of this car. It is absolutely hossing it down. Um, it's the beginning of May and it's not been sunny for a single day yet. However, on Friday I'm flying out to Australia so there are gonna be many, many, many videos coming out um, across the next couple of weeks. Hopefully, if I can get a chance um, to take some. And again, I'll be recording all of my adventures in the land down under. Um, now, anyway guys, thank you for your time. It's Pete Box and Mox and Muscle. See you next time.